Welcome to SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo, and we're with Martin Toisson, who is president of Arms Corps, and I want to get into your new product, certainly, but I just find it very interesting, you're from the Philippines, uh, talk a little bit about how you got here. Yeah, well, well I'm Filipino, uh, my grandfather started Arms Corps uh, back uh, in 1952, we're license number one in the Philippines to manufacture firearms and ammunition. My dad took over in the 1960s, and I took over in 2013. Um, it's a family business. We work with my sister, my cousins. Uh, we all actually work as a team, as a committee. I might have the president title, but we actually, uh, everything is run through committees right now, and we, I love it, actually. It takes a lot of pressure off of me, because I'm not really, uh, I'm the, the last decision, but it's not a sole decision, sure. if that makes, it, uh, it makes any sense. So we work great as a team. Um, and you know we work off each other's strengths. I've got weaknesses, they've got weaknesses, but when you put it all together, we're all just strong together. What's interesting to me is that it was a, a company in the Philippines and, and you came here. That's right. Uh, my goal is to open up more manufacturing in the United States and create American jobs, even though I'm Filipino. Uh, it's a synergy that I've seen that works really well. There's a reason why I want the United States. It's the best manufacturing in the whole world. I mean, one World War II, uh, you know, it's yeah, plain and simple. Uh, sure. And uh, it's through manufacturing and it's the best. So why not open up here? I think manufacturing techniques now, like uh, people say, well, why not the Philippines, right? You'll save so much money on labor. True, but you know, here with efficiencies, new technology and American know-how, you could do it just as cheap here as anywhere else, as long as you do it right and you do it lean. So let's get to the product. So you have a new pistol, uh, which is displayed right up here. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. So I've got the SDK 100. We released it last year, um, and we've been making it slowly but surely. And now I put all my robotics lines in for it. Um, this is a Philippine-made product. Basically, it's our striker fire uh, entry-level pistol that we just started. Uh, I'm the largest producer of 1911s in the world. but. I need to get into the striker fire game, so I thought something different. It's an aluminum frame. I put all the bells and whistles on there, and yet it's at a starter gun price. Just like a 1911 GI pistol, where you go to Brownells and you can buy all the extra parts. These are compatible uh, with a certain brand out there that you can get uh, parts from Lone Wolf, Zev, uh, Brownells, that can just open up the catalog, put it together, and now you have a custom-made pistol and it's going to be much less than anything else out there. What kind of a price point are you talking about? We're looking at 499 MSRP, and uh, you even have the sight plate already there for a Venom Optic, but I'm changing that in the next couple of months. I'm going to be putting a micro dot plate so that you could use all the different brands. I'm just really good friends with the guys at uh, Vortex, so I thought that would be really neat to put it there, but a lot of people are saying that, you know, hey, I like Leopold, I like Rideon, I like all the other brands, so, I like to make the customer happy. I, I'm a customer service background, so you talk, you tell me what you don't like about it. I'll, if I can fix it, I'll make it sure it's right. And so your your favorite pet here, though, is is the VRF 14. Uh, it's a vertical receiver firearm, 14 inch barrel. This is kind of your baby, isn't it? Yes, it is. So this makes U.S. manufacturing. So this is an unimportable firearm, and it's also a firearm. So if you know that, uh, it has really no clear definition in the ATF except getting a letter from them saying that this is a firearm. It's a 12 gauge mag fed uh, firearm, 14 inch barrel, 26 inch overall length, and it's a perfect home defense gun. We got rails on it, everything, so you can put lights, lasers, uh, forearms, sling, you know, five round magazines come with it, but you get nine round, 19 round, 25 round drums, 12 gauge, double odd buck, mix and match, whatever you like, up to three inch loads. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's a fun gun to shoot as well, but what a home defense shotgun it makes. And what sort of a price point is that? Again, $499. Uh, so I like to make sure as many of my guns are affordable for 80% of the people who want to buy them. I, you could always find a certain group of people who can afford a $2,000 Cabot, sure. you know, or a $3,000 yeah. Cabot, right? But that's but a small population. I want everybody to be able to shoot a 1911. That's what I noticed when I came into the 1911 game. There wasn't anything really affordable at the time that would be good quality. So best possible price for best possible product. And that's what I love doing. And I, if you are a broke college kid like I was when I first started this business, 
go in with a $500 budget, you could buy my gun, a couple of extra mags maybe if it's on sale. And you know, uh, remember I do make ammo, so I also make money you that way. You also make ammo. That's right. I'm one of the largest producers of ammunition now. Uh, uh, I'm not quite Vista uh, or MagTech, but I'm catching up. And, and running faster. Uh, we're really aggressive as a family. Well, Michael, thank you very much for being on the show. Uh, if people want more information, where do they go? Armscore.com is uh, where you go. You got to see all our firearms, ammunition. We're coming out with new calibers, new guns all the time. We have multiple factories, even a factory in Montana for ammunition. So like I said, we export jo jobs to the United States all the time. As a Filipino, I'm proud of that. Thank you very much. For SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.